Hello and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. My name is Lara and we're here at the Maidan Hotel for the fourth edition of our Fashion Week. We're actually on our last day and this is the closing fashion show of the actual event. We're talking about none other than Antonio Maras. Hello and a very warm welcome to you, Antonio. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm a little bit destroyed, but I'm so happy. Thank you. You have every reason to be happy. Congratulations on your stunning collection. It was absolutely breathtaking. Oh, thank you so much. I, I can't. No, it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the story, the theme behind the collection. How many pieces we had, and how did you get? Uh, where did you source your inspiration? Allora, questa è una piccola parte della collezione. La collezione chiaramente è molto più ampia perché è una questa è una capsule della della preview della sì della della pre collection e la ispirazione è appunto quella di Scarlett di Via Colvento e ho immaginato che Scarlett faccia un viaggio qui nel deserto e incontri un'altra donna che talmente lontana da lei ma in realtà sono molto vicine e cominciano a scambiarsi gli abiti e a diventare appunto un'unica donna. Colori, materiali, tessuti diventano appunto, fanno sì che queste due donne così lontane e poi si uniscano in una sola persona. So this is just a small taste, a preview of the pre-collection. It's like a capsule out of the whole line that will be presented soon. And it's about Scarlett O'Hara, who is the character of Gone with the Wind, the iconic movie. And I'm imagining her living her kind of, you know, a house, plantation house, and going to the desert, and venturing out and meeting an Arabic woman. And they start playing and, and exchanging wardrobe. And kind of these two opposite, the very different women, who actually they find out they are very similar and they become one. That's wonderful. Now, this is the first time Antonio Maras has participated in Arab Fashion Week. What are his views on Arab Fashion Week? Whatever he's seen of it so far. È la prima volta che partecipa a un Fashion Week in qui in Arabia. Arabia. Sì. La tua opinione, ma la, eh, finora appunto è, stato, è stata un'esperienza bellissima, ero già stato chiaramente tante volte a Dubai, ma eh, non mai come ospite, è la prima volta che sfilo. Eh, è stata un'esperienza molto bella, credo eh, molto eccitante, anche perché è molto importante per me confrontarmi nel luogo con le persone che hanno creduto in questo progetto. Yes, so it's not my first time in Dubai, but it's the first time that I do a catwalk show here and it's been a great experience, especially to understand you know, the market here and also experience and, and meet with people from the region. And, uh, and so it's been wonderful. Yeah. What's next for Antonio? What are your future plans? What, where's your next big event? Uh, I, 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 uh, tomorrow we have a lot of appointment, no? In, uh, in the, yeah, uh, so. with some more press. Well, there are two new stores that Antonio is open in Dubai. Okay. Uh, one is uh, the main line, a concept store, at city, both at City Walk, mm -hmm. um, and the other one is of secondary line, which is the Isola Maras. So it's kind of getting to see the development of the stores, and there is much more uh, coming up worldwide. It's, always full of projects. I, I, I answer for him because he, he has so much that he doesn't even know where to start from. Absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations, Antonio, and wishing you continued growth and success. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. enjoyed finding out more about Arab Fashion Week and its fourth season here at the Maidan Hotel in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. My name is Lara, signing off. Until next time. <laughs>